Meow meow. Welcome back to Kitty Place in Hurt the Earth Quest for the Orb. Last time we were talking to the Boar King and we found something peculiar in his mud bath. This here ring. What an odd design. The head of a wolf. And it seems like the Boar King has made some arrangement with the wolves and the thing is that in this area that we can let me go back to the path over here in this area that we can walk around in there are no wolves so again maybe this is the forest where the elks and all the forest animals live this is the cave of the rats this is the village of the ferrets boars this is an hermit's house a sanctuary and the fairground and the fairground is like where everyone comes together and not even there were wolves so where could we find the wolves well how about we take a look around in the village first That said, I know roughly the solution to the game. I roughly remember it, but no, I don't know the exact steps, the exact uh, order to do them. So I might be running back and forth multiple times. But I do know, of course, this whole place wouldn't exist if we didn't have business here to, to attend to. So, And this is the place where I think I need to check all the houses to find like one of three or something particular houses I remember that in the walkthrough there was a map <clears throat> yes what village is this this is the ferret village and site of the Tinker's Lodge this well, thank you for your time see you later this so called Tinker's Lodge is what we're looking for and B, the voices of the ferrets in the German version were unbearable. Let's hope we get somewhere. Sorry, just get away from the door. Come on, Ark, get away from the door. I want to open it. Thank you. Oh, maybe. There's another bucket. Pretty stamp. We used to play with these when we were kids. Nothing unusual about these bricks. Interesting mural. Mm -hmm. Looks like a one by six to me. So Riff does know something about planks. And he was playing with wheelbarrows when he was young. And yes, I forgot which direction we came from. Okay, this is the same house under construction. And yes, it takes so long when, after we leave until the window disappears. Ooh, this must be the Tinkress Lodge. Looks pretty hot in there. That must be the emblem of the Builder's Guild. That's a big table. Or the Guildhouse of the Builder's Guild. I, I thought that they called it the Builder, the, the Tinker's Lodge in uh, in the English version. It's a sign. It's a nice building, but can't do anything here. Let's hope we get somewhere with these ferrets. Yeah, I want to close the door to mark this building. Oh, I can't I can't close the door anymore. Hmm. Well let's hope we find it again. And okay, so we come in the village and then take a left. That should be easy. He said and immediately forgot. Good day. May I show you some of my glass items? No, thank you. 
So there's a glass maker here. Interesting. Uh, we don't need any glass for now. Where's the exit there? Door entrance. It's interesting that we stand in the right end of the screen and the door entrance is at the bottom of the screen. Okay, so the glass maker is inside this circle of houses that we can only reach by walking through some kind of gates. I think this, these are the outskirts of the city or village. Luckily, the game leaves the doors open, so we know which houses we've already searched. So I'm not going to spoil the surprise, um, or spo spoil the game by telling you what I know that I'm looking for, but I don't know where it actually is, if it is in this village or somewhere else. But we found two key things that we need later, the glassmaker and the guild hall. That's also a good thing that we already found those, and who says I need to stay in the path, right? This is not Germany where it says keep on the grass at all times. But it seems like that was already everything of the city, because there are the fields again, sorry. Talking a lot after eating makes you or makes me have a hiccup. Okay, it seems like this is everything we can find here. I was actually pretty sure that we can find what we need in the ferret's village. Maybe if we talk to the glassmaker, but I actually doubt that the glassmaker has what we need. This game, when I was when I was little, this game, um, I, I wouldn't say influenced. I mean, yes, it did, but um, it captured me a lot. I was I was playing this and I was really captured by this um, by this world. It was a really awesome thing. Good day. May I show you some of my glass items? No, thank you. Let's see what else he has to say. Your glasswares are pretty indeed, but it is information I see. Information? This is not an information booth. You are not going to purchase anything. I suggest you move on. Can I pick up some coal? No. It's pretty hot in there. Okay. So we need to wait until we need to buy some glass. Well, we already found some things. Not to worry. Okay, where to next? Let's see what is up here. I remember that we can't progress any further. Yeah, the, the map just won't move. I thought that there was something that keeps us from going further, but no, the map just won't move. Okay, let's see if Elara, the um, mistress of the sanctuary, actually has... can t tell us something about the wolf Fair crest. Art. What can I say? As for the audio of the game, um, these are digitized um, sound effects, of course. Um, and the music is, that's the MIDI era. So it's, it's MIDI file music interpreted by your sound card while you play. 
a lot of games use that, and even the, the um, scum games like Monkey Island use the iMuse system, which um, which was able to fade in and out the different instruments uh, on the MIDI channels while you were walking. If I play Monkey Island 2, there's a scene in, in the swamp where you can very well see this, or actually hear this, where you... Uh, where, where more and more instruments get get added to the tr soundtrack when you approach the hut in the swamp, which is a really e awesome effect in my in my opinion. For some reason, I'm now struggling with English words again while talking. That's kind of it's kind of weird. I hope your search has been useful. Don't give up. I am not interested in your bribes. Well, that's not a bribe. I want to know if you know something about this. I am not in. Okay, so she she doesn't take anything. Maybe the elk king knows something about the wolf head. I mean, he seems pretty wise, also. Just try it out if the touch screen works. It doesn't. The mouse points to the right position, but it doesn't click. Well, on that tiny part of the screen, I think that using the touch screen is not an option, anyways. So. This is most foolish. We are the last people the king wants to see. Talking to the king again will do us no good. Okay, so if they say it, then I'm just going to take their word. Let's check out the rat's cave then. I haven't seen this many rules since I was in school. Sure wish I could play one of those. Just your basic cheese. Yum. Hmm. A very good year. So, it's the rat stand. Sorry. I just need to move my bench, which I'm sitting on a bit closer to the, uh, to the computer. So, since it's rats, of course, they're eating cheese and drinking wine because... But you drink wine with your cheeks, right? So let's try to get inside. Sorry. Wait! You're not allowed in there! I clicked that away in the first time because I thought the game hadn't acknowledged my click. So let's try talking to the doorkeeper. Maybe he will let us in. Good day to you, sir. Day it is. Good it is not. We are in need of information. What sort of information? I am curious about the history of the Rat Tribe. What can you tell me? I have no time for a history lesson. You should schedule an appointment with one of our historians. Your historians? That's right. We Rats are one of the few tribes that can tell you about our history, for we've kept records since time immemorial. Then you are one of the older races? That's right. According to legend, we were the first race to be morphed. This may account for our copious record-keeping. Do you have actual records of contact with the humans? Ah, records of the humans. Those records are quite vague. They suggest that the humans kept our ancestors in cages while they bestowed the gift. The gift? That is what our people call the giving of self-awareness to morphs. And what happened after you were given this gift? Details are sketchy. Apparently, our ancestors worked with humans on a regular basis. In fact, they taught us their language and script. Your ancestors served the humans? Serve them? Of course not. We are not servants. We help them in their scientific experiments on some level. Then the rats and the humans must have been great allies. Not so. Even though some humans worked with us, most of their race had great prejudice and fear toward us. They would drive us away, or kill us if they could. 
morphed and unmorphed alike. Some had such hatred for us that they would hunt us down and set traps to test us. What did your people do? What we had to do to survive. We segregated ourselves from man and built dwellings under the ground where we would be safe from those that would harm us. We continued that lifestyle even after the humans vanished. And you believe these legends? I believe all legends are part fact and part fiction. Which is which? Only our ancestors knew for sure. That's, that's actually pretty neat. So the rats are the first ones to be morphed while being kept in cages. I can actually see that happening. Like, the rats being experien experienced, yeah, experimented on, uh, and somehow being morphed. And of course, thus, they are the first ones, because all of our experiments are firstly made on rats, usually. And your job is to watch this door? It is not. I am no mere watchman. There are several of us who take turns watching the door. My main duty, however, is keeping track of our trade balance with other tribes. What is your main form of exchange? We deal mostly in information. Whatever skills we have come from our vast storehouse of written knowledge. What is your main form? Sorry. We did whatever... What is your... Uh, whatever... How did you get this job? It is a trade that was passed down from my father and from his father before him. So, by heritage. Sorry for that. Before I accidentally... I, I was assuming that the items get removed once you've heard them. You've been doing this a long time, then? As long as I can remember. My father would bring me to this very room, even when I was very young, and teach me about this trade. Do you enjoy this job? Enjoy? Enjoy? What kind of question is that? It is my job. It is what I do for the good of my society. My personal enjoyment does not enter into it. Tell us more about your society. Tell us about your people. For one thing, we like to be left alone. <laughs> really? Why is that? Because we are usually too busy to make idle chit-chat, therefore, our contact with other races is usually limited to what is necessary for trading. But there were several rats at the puzzle tournament. In fact, it was a rat who beat me. That's true. We seem to have a great skill for puzzle solving. <laughs> so several of our younger members do enjoy getting out and dealing with other tribes at these events. It's just a phase, however, and usually doesn't last long. They soon return to the solitary lifestyle. What do you do for fun? Our pastimes are mostly intellectual games, puzzles, anagrams, the like. Physically, we enjoy foot races and hide and seek. Now, if you will excuse me, I must get back to my work. Yeah, he doesn't have time for idle chit chat, but he's chit chatting with me for what, 10 minutes now? You are indeed a most interesting race. We would like an audience with your leader. An audience with our leader? An audience with our leader? Do you have an appointment? We do not. Then an audience is impossible. Why? Why? Because he only receives visitors from mid-morning until mid-afternoon every other day during the week, and from noon until dusk on the other two. On the mm. day of Ron, he receives only invited guests from dusk until midnight, and on the day of Dath, he receives no visitors whatsoever. Therefore, you will have to wait for your audience. But, good sir, you do not understand. Hmm, let's try to confuse him. I have an idea to distract him. Play along. We'd like to make an appointment. Very well, then. What is your name again? My name is Riff of the Fox Tribe. Riff of the Fox Tribe. And you are... This is Who Are You of the Boar Tribe. <laughs> and yes, I am of the Elk Tribe. I like the English names. You are... Order. Who? No. Yes, sir, I am. No, no, uh, who are you? That's me. You? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> I'm the doorkeeper. Who are you? <laughs> who are you? I said, I'm the doorkeeper. Who are you? Sorry, I need who to listen you? to that. I'm the doorkeeper. <laughs> who is he? That's right. What? That's my nickname. What is? Who? <laughs> you? What is your nickname? No, who is? 
<laughs> Do you know his name? Yes, sir, I am. You are what? <laughs> Who? You? Who are you? Who are you? I'm the, the doorkeeper. doorkeeper. Once again, what oh, is your nice. name? Yes, sir, I am. You are who? No, that's him. Who is him? That's right. <laughs> ah! Who are you? And who it are you? starts again. I'm the doorkeeper. Nice. Who are you? Uh, it's it's exactly the same in German, but it's oh, it's so hilarious. <laughs> who are you? Oh, that's me. <laughs> yeah. So this is the rat's cage, and of course. They have a maze. And the golden rule for mazes is always stick to one wall. And um, let's select the left one. I know I don't remember where we need to go, so I'm actually going to stick to the wall. Oh, that's a nice little room with books. That's nothing. Another nice little room with books. So since you don't see much on the screen, they actually could reuse lots of things, like the rooms are just copied because you weren't seeing... Now you see two of them in one screen, but it's seldom that you see many rooms at one time. Oh, a different kind of room. Look at that. Yeah. I must talk to him. He'll know I shouldn't be here. Ah, okay. So we're not allowed to talk to the rats. Good. And another one of the copy and paste rooms. And this is the end of the tunnel with another one of the copy paste rooms. I'm going to open all the doors. So if we run in a circle, we will know by seeing an open door. Come on, get through here. Nope. We're now running again along this wall here, so the door wasn't in our path yet. Open the door, check if there's more than this, than the copy paste thing. Oh look, this this is a door with nothing, so this will lead into another screen. Okay. There's a doorway here and a doorway here and it, nothing else. Could be that this is a map of the whole thing. But basically we can just walk from left to right. Very interesting. Still walking along the look, there's holes in the floor and they aren't showing on a, as, as anything under the cursor. So let's see where we go from here. Another door. You can take off that cloak now, young fox. Oh, he knows. Well, anyhow. You sure have a lot of stuff in here. You sure have a lot of stuff in here. You sure have a lot of stuff in here. Oh, come on, he could have said something else. You must have had a long journey. So tell me, how did you manage to get past the doorkeeper? <laughs> My friends and I provided him with a diversion. Quite clever. But then I could tell you were clever at the puzzle tournament. Aha, uh -huh. so that's where we have met before. Yes. I am called Sist. And I was there to witness your defeat at the hands of Scory. Scory was lucky. Sometimes all that stands between a winner and a loser is a little bit of luck. Now then, why are you here? My friends and I are investigating the disappearance of the Orb of Storms. We are at a loss as to where to start. <laughs> and have heard that you know many things. Can you help us? We have knowledge, but we are not clairvoyant. We must have clues. Something to go on. Have you any clues? Okay. Yeah. That's the person we have to show the stuff. 
So let's show them the berries and the ring if we can. I found what might be a clue. Let me see it then. I really the love clue, unfortunately, it. I cannot show you. It is a footprint found outside the scene okay. of the crime. You must come with me to look at it. That is impossible. I have far too many duties to leave now. However, if you make a cast of the print and bring it to me, I will attempt to identify it. How do I make such a cast? Obtain some plaster and pour it into the footprint. Where do I get the plaster? My suggestion is to try the ferrets. They always have building materials at their disposal. Thank you, Francis. I will follow your advice and return as soon as possible. What other clues have you? Okay, so... Now you know what I was looking for at the ferret's village. I was looking for the plaster. And that's also why I have the bucket of water. Basically, I need to mix them together. And it could be that now that I've been talking to Sist, that I can buy the plaster from the glassmaker because it can tell him, hey, I need that. Um, could also be that I have to run through the village again and just find the bag of plaster somewhere. I'm pretty sure it's it was a bag that I had to pick up and then mix with a bucket or something. As for as for Sist, yeah, as I said, that's that's the guy we have to show all the stuff to. So let's show him the wolf ring. I found this ring at the bottom of the Boar King's mud bath. What were you doing in his? <laughs> Never mind. It's a long story. Ah, this is good. This is very good. I, I mean, this is bad. Mm -hmm. Do you know what this ring means? It has the head of a wolf on it, so I assume it belongs to a member of the wolf tribe. It is more than that. This insignia is that of a wolf captain. That means there have been military meetings between the wolf and the boar. How do you know the ring wasn't stolen? Or maybe the wolf captain lost it? First, the wolf captain is constantly surrounded by guards. You cannot steal from him. Secondly, the ring cannot be lost because it is never taken off, except under very special circumstances, like the pledging of a very solemn trough. What kind of trough? It is that which fills me with fear. Whatever unholy alliance has been formed between the wolf and the boar, it can only mean trouble for the rest of the tribes. And I believe it all revolves around the missing orb. Then it is all the more important you tell me what I need to know. Okay, this sounds very bad. Let's see if you can tell me something about the berries. Ah, sour berries. Hey, you recognize them? Indeed I do. These are very rare and grow only in certain places. Where? You must tell me. These berries are found at very high altitudes. And what races live where these berries grow? Therein lies the rub. There are many races who could have brought these. Only with the footprint will I be able to identify your quarry. Hasten to bring it to me. Then we will be a giant step closer to solving this mystery. I suggest you return to the scene of the crime once again. When you have more information, come back and I will help you. Thank you, Francis. Okay, so it seems like we need to go back, get the footprint, bring it to him, and then he will tell us more. Although he said something about high places, and there is this hermit living on the mountain. Maybe we should check him out also. But first let's see if we find anything else in these tunnels. Or rather, I'd say let's first roll a d20 and see when we will check out the rest of the tunnels. Because the half hour is already over. So, see you next time. Bye-bye.